Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Rusty's Cruz Ramirez. So before we get right into the review let me discuss something. So Cruz Ramirez, I mean, when, when the yellow flag was out, the racers including Lightning McQueen went to pit row and he ordered Luigi and Guido to change Cruz Ramirez's tires, Ramon to fill her up, and Ramon to paint her. But Sterling, on the other hand, was concerned that she'll damage the brand and told him that he was just a, that, I mean, she was just a trainer, but made her fended Sterling off. off. And before the re and both before the and before the restart, right, cruise was completed, and, and and she raced back onto the track before the race before the race started with Lightning McQueen be, being her crew chief, and and before and a few laps before the final lap, she caught up with she caught up with. Jackson Storm, who, who led most led most of the most of the laps throughout the race, and she and he told and Storm told Cruz that she will never be one of us. But then Cruz realized that that she had something that Storm does, and and. and and before and a lap before the final lap, she she caught up with Storm yet again, but this time behind his bumper. And at the final lap, she started trash talking to Storm, which aggravates Storm, causing him to slam her into the into a wall all before the checkered flag. And, but Cruz had one last trick up her sleeve. The 360 degree, which she and Lightning heard heard from about from Doc's flashback at Thomasville, and she won. The, and she had won the race at the Florida International, the Florida 500, at the Florida International Speedway of 2017, and she was even and she was even congratulated by a few next gen racers, Ryan Inside Laney, Danny Suarez. Chase Race Slot and Bubba Wallace, who I don't have. Sterling, impressed by Cruz's in, in performance, offered him to race for off, I mean her to race for him and replace Lenny McQueen, but then Tex the Tex Dynaco oh, showed up with Strip the King Weathers and Cal Weathers and he offered Cruz to race for for him, which Cruz accepts and declines Sterling. And that is it. So now let so now let's get let's dig into the review here. Here we've got her her smile and her friendly facial expression and no rusties on the hood, her her headlights and and on the left side we've got a red number 95 and her red rims on her black wall light year racing tires and her exhaust pipes and her name Cruz in dark blue underneath and a a random red Rusty's logo and the the gas cap and a flat spoiler and no 95 nor name signature on the top and the CR and on the back we've got her a CRS logo and her taillights and a black number 95 and a red stri red red bendy lines bendy line and stripe and on the right side similar design but completely different and that is it so now let's compare it to the to to the regular Cruise. 
regular cruiser mirrors. So, you know, here are some differences. This cruise, both share the same similar design, both share the same mouth, and there's, this one has side view mirrors while this one doesn't. This cruise has a spoiler while this one has no spoiler. And this, and here's some left side comparison. This cruise has racing tires and a racing number, while this cruise has no racing tires nor racing number. And on the back, this one has a license plate, while this one has no license plate. And both of them have the CRS logo. And that is it. So now let's compare to Dynaco Cruz Amiras. So here, here's some some differences. This cruise's smile is shut, while this one, this smile is partially open with showing her her teeth. This cruise has a sponsor on the hood, while this one has no sponsor on the hood. Number on the top, and no number on the top, no name signature. Both have a flat spoiler. This one has 95 sponsored by Rusty's. Well, this one is ha, is sponsored by Dynaco and Boyer's has a number 51. So this sponsor on spoiler, no sponsor on spoiler. Blue, red rims on, red rims on. Old gen light year black wall light year racing tires, blue rims on modern light year black wall racing tires. CR CRS logo on back, no CRS logo on back. Rookie stripes, no rookie stripes. And both of them, no license plate. Just the racing number, but different. 9551. No sponsor logo on back. Sponsor logo on back. And that is it. So now let's compare her to other. So now let's pull up some of the, the generation of, of Rusty's racers. We've got. Regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen, Rusty's Lightning McQueen, and Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. So here is the complete generation of the evolution of Rust Team Rusty's racers. So there so Rusty's first racer was an unnamed racer with a number was a which is a muscle car and bore the number zero one from the although it appeared in the car he appeared in the cars boom studios comics so here's the generation of the rusty's racer 2005 2011 2016 and these two in 2017 and that is completely it. So, what do you guys think? Which Cruiser Mirrors diecast is your favorite? And which Rusty's Racer is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the com in comments down below, as well as suggestions of which car of the past from the Cars Collection video in the description should I review next. And please, and if you, if you have enjoyed this video, please, you know what to do, thumbs up and subscribe. And I've got, and I hope to see you all guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. 
Goodbye now.